my flat iron hair has held up for about two and a half weeks. Now it's time to shampoo because my scalp is about to give up the ghost. Today I will shampoo, condition, and style my hair and do all that good stuff and get my hair back on track, get this scalp right. I am interested to see if my hair will revert back to its natural state. The first thing that I am doing is cleansing my scalp. I am using the Clean Rinse Clarifying Scalp Serum from Sunday Riley. I bought this product from Sephora. This is an AHA, BHA infused rinse off serum to clarify the scalp of product buildup, excess oil, dead skin, and pollution for a cleaner, healthier looking scalp and refreshed hair. The directions say create small parts in your hair using the nozzle tip. Squeeze the bottle and apply the product to your scalp. Leave on for a minimum of five minutes and up to 15 plus minutes for heavy residue removal. Rinse well. If needed, follow through with normal shampoo and conditioner routine. Massage the scalp serum into your scalp and comb through your hair roots if desired. Use as often as desired for a clean feeling scalp. My hair is rinsed very well, and I'm just wetting it a little bit more before I shampoo it. That's all. I think I rinsed my hair for about five minutes or more. So now I'm gonna go in with my clarifying shampoo. The Paul Mitchell Shampoo 2 is a clarifying shampoo. It is excellent for oily hair. It removes dulling buildup and leaves locks squeaky clean. The directions say to massage into wet hair, rinse, and repeat as needed. That much, not a whole lot. I am mostly focusing on my scalp. I'm going in and scrubbing my scalp with the pads of my fingers and making sure I get that scalp as best as I can. I am off to rinse out this shampoo and on to the next step. The second shampoo that I'm using is the Aveda Botanical Repair Strengthening Shampoo. It helps strengthens and repair damaged hair with the power of plants. It gently cleanses and helps strengthen and repair from the inside out, improving the condition of damaged hair. It helps to build the bonds to improve hair strength. It gently removes excess sebum, product buildup, and pollution, which can damage the hair. This product is good for all hair types. I rinse my hair, but I'm gonna go ahead and wet it a little bit more before I shampoo again. The thought that is running across my mind is that these things, these little scalp massaging shampoo thingies are a little bit too hard. And so after this video, I threw these things away and I'm gonna stick with that little pink one I had at the beginning of the video. It feels so much better. These have to go. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I'm going to shampoo one more time, but I won't do that on camera. When I come back, I will be applying my conditioner. I decided to come back and show y'all my shampooing. This shampoo does suds up really good. I have never used these products, by the way. But I have this little scalp doohickey that I just purchased and this one is much softer than the one that I just used. The one that I used, I ordered from Amazon, the two, they were really rough and hard. This one is so soft, I had to rinse it off to get the scalp exfoliator off of it. But this feels so good, it's so soft, it's not hard at all. The one I was using, those two, they were rough. But I just wanted to come back in here and show you the shampoo. It does lather very well. And I do take shampoo all the way down. 
because I put oil all the way on down my strands, right? <laughs> so I need to get that silicone filled oil off my hair. I take my shampoo all the way down. It does lather up really well. It's a very soft lather, just so you know. I just wanted to pop back in here and show that to you and to also show you this. I bought this today. This is really good. It feels so good. I'm going to go and rinse this out. Then I'll come back and apply my conditioner, the regular conditioner. And then I'm also going to apply the mask because I just want to see how it works. I normally don't do that. I normally will just shampoo and put the conditioner in or shampoo and put a mask or a deep conditioner in. But I'm doing it all today because, well, my hair has been straight for two and a half weeks and it needs all the moisture and strengthening it can get. Let me go rinse this out and I'll be right back. My hair is clean, 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 and now I'm ready to put some conditioner back into it. The conditioner that I am using is this one. This is the regular rinse out conditioner, and I'm gonna apply some to my hair. That's it there. It smells just like the shampoo, it has an Ylang Ylang scent. I am using the Aveda Botanical Repair Strengthening Conditioner. It conditions and instantly detangles to prevent the breakage, strengthens and repairs with the power of plants. It builds bonds to improve the hair strength. It reduces frizz and flyaways. It's easier to detangle and it helps you have less breakage and damage. It lightly conditions for everyday use without weighing the hair down. It leaves the hair soft, smooth, and shiny for all hair types and textures. It is 98% naturally derived. It is safe for color treated and chemically processed hair. It is silicone free and vegan and also cruelty free. The directions say use following the botanical repair strengthening shampoo, massage into wet hair and rinse well. It feels pretty good on the hair. And right now what I'm doing is just detangling with my fingers. I have my little thumb up in here and I'm feeling for any tangles. And it feels like the tangles are falling, melting out. I'm gonna let this conditioner stay in my hair for about two minutes or so, and then I'm gonna rinse it out, and then I'll come back and apply the mask, and I'll be done with my shampoo and conditioning session. So I have the conditioner rinsed out of my hair, and while I was rinsing the conditioner out of my hair, I just said out loud, "Woo, my hair feels so silky. You know how you run your hands over your hair? Well, I was running my hands over my hair while the water was running down, it, and my hair was just like, gliding over it. I don't know how to explain it. It was just like a silky smooth feeling. So this is how my hair looks after the conditioner has been rinsed out. Just the regular conditioner. I'm about to put the mask in my hair now. And I like the way my hair feels now. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put this mask in my hair. And my hair needs to be a little bit damp. So that's what, what I'm gonna do here, is just squeeze some of the water out. So it's not like drippy, drippy wet. I'm impressed. I think that these products will be what I use for the pool of month, or the shampoo and conditioner at least. On to the mask. The Aveda Botanical Intensive Strengthening Mask is formulated for deep conditioning, instantly strengthens and repairs, improving the look and feel of damaged hair instantly with plant-derived technologies used to help maintain results at home following the professional botanical repair treatment. It instantly transforms the hair, leaving it visibly healthier, softer, smoother, and shinier after just one use. It has plant-derived technologies that repairs damage to all three key layers of hair fiber from the F layer to the cortex. This is formulated for all textures of medium to thick hair types, 94% naturally derived. It is safe for color treated and chemically treated hair. 
and it is silicone free, vegan, and cruelty free. This mask right here, we're about to put that in the hair. It's pretty thick and rich. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. See how this is really thick because I'm pushing my fingers down off in here. Excuse my fingernail polish, y'all. I'm pushing my fingers down in here and it's just like really thick. Okay, I'm going to get some out of here. Not that much. With this conditioner, this mask, you just leave it on your hair for about two to five minutes. I'm gonna leave it on for about five minutes. A mask, ooh, this feels good. It's like <laughs> whatever roughness I was feeling, you know, it just took it away. Now, I'm not saying my hair was rough, but this product just made it feel even more silkier. <laughs> so let me continue to put this in my hair. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> It feels so good. Wow. It feels so good, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more. It's kinda like, it feels thick, but then when you rub your hands together, it feels like a lotion. I can't explain it, I'm getting some more. So that's it here. I don't wanna use too much cause you don't really need that much. <laughs> Okay, put some over here on the ends and the back on the ends. This is really good. Feels good already and I haven't even rinsed it out. For as much as this deep conditioner, this mask costs, it should feel like this, okay? <laughs> yes, feels very, very good. I'm gonna brush it through again. Yep, I brought my brush. I just love my wet brush. So that's why I'm gonna brush it through again. Notice I turned it vertical. <laughs> and when I did that, it went through much easier. My hair is <laughs> liking this mask. Let's go on this side here. This is my go-to shampoo and conditioner for the winter. For the cooler month. <laughs> and it smells so good. At first, I didn't like the smell of the product inside the bottle. <laughs> but on the hair and just smelling it out in the open, it smells pretty good. I'm going to let this sit on my hair for about five minutes and I'll go rinse it out. And I will be back to finally get ready to style my hair. I am all done. It seems like it takes so much longer when I'm filming to do my hair. So this is how my hair is looking. It feels very good. It doesn't feel like a moisturizing conditioner, but I can feel the moisture and I can also feel the strength. And what does that feel like? It feels moisturized, but it also feels um, a little bit rough if that makes sense that's the best way i can define it but overall my hair is soft but i know it has some strength in it i'm ready to style my hair all right finally <laughs> i am going to put this product in this is the leave-in conditioner i'm going to put a little bit on this side a little bit on this side this is the Aveda Botanical Repair Strengthening Leave-In Repair Treatment. It instantly strengthens and repairs from the inside out, detangles to help prevent breakage, and protects against heat up to 450 degrees. I know I like the Nutriplenish Deep, was it the Moisture Rising Treatment? I like that one, so this leave-in is pretty good. It feels good on the hair. And I don't feel like I need to go in with a, with more product. So I'm just going to put this up out of the way here. This side I might need a little bit more because there's more hair on this side. But you really don't need that much of the product. This leave-in treatment reduces frizz and detangles to help prevent breakage and protects against heat up to 450 degrees, safeguarding against damage caused during blow drying and heat styling. So 
if you are in the business of blow drying and heat styling your hair this is a good product to incorporate into your routine it smooths and conditions leaving the hair feeling soft and smooth with a luxurious slip it is for all hair types and textures it is 99 percent naturally derived it is safe for color treated and chemically processed hair silicone free vegan and cruelty free apply through damp hair and do not rinse i have matching clips <laughs> All right, so now I am going in with some oil. They say use two to four drops. I'm going to use two drops on this side and two drops on that side. One, two. <laughs> I am using the Aveda Dry Remedy Daily Moisturizing Oil. It is a leave-in treatment. The directions say apply two to four drops in hands and work through damp or dry hair. My hair is damp. It's not soaking wet, but it is a little wet. The first thing that I'm going to do is put my little flat twist up here. All right. So I'm getting ready to use Karen's Body Beautiful. There it is. This is the Lavender Vanilla. Okay, that's it right there. Karen's Body Beautiful Super Duper Hydrating Hair Cream works best for thick kinks or curls, relaxed, color treated, or dry hair. Perfect for twists and braids, as the Super Duper Hydrating Hair Cream gives a soft hold, provides moisture, and delivers the most awesomest twist or braid out. No parabens, no sulfates, no paraffins, no mineral oil, no DEA, no animal testing. And I have this in the scent of lavender vanilla. I do not like this comb. Hold on. I need to get my other my other comb. I'll be right back. All right, so I got my comb here. I don't want to start off with the whole lot. It feels pretty good on the hair. It smells good, too. I have a three-row comb that somebody suggested that I use when I'm doing a wash and go but I'm gonna use it for this to smooth my hair out before I twist and I go in with my little smaller tooth comb. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more of the cream. I don't wanna overdo it because <laughs> this is a product I've never used before. I wanna start off small, put a little on the gray here, just smooth it. the three row comb. <laughs> I like the way that feels. Okay. Now it's flat twist time. Hair smells so good. <laughs> I was getting a whiff of it. it. Smells very nice. Very nice. Okay. This looks kind of wide and big, but my hair is thinner here. So. All right, and it feels good and smooth. I'm gonna get some product here. Not that much. It feels really good on the hair. I like this cream, the way it feels. I'm supposed to get a soft type of twist out. We'll see. Okay. Let the twisting begin. I 
Now I'm ready to twist my hair. I'm going to do medium sized twists, just individual two strand twists. I'm not flat twisting it or anything. That's what I am doing. Now I might flat twist that just a little bit, just to stretch it at the root. Just in case you're wondering, I'm still using K Karen's Body Beautiful Super Duper Hydrating Cream. I'm just not showing it. This is how my twists are looking. They are juicy, moisturized. They feel very good, not too heavy on the butter. Seems like the buttercream that I'm using from Karen's Body Beautiful is has the right amount of oil and all that good stuff. Jazz, so look at that, that's really nice. I kind of flat twisted it, kind of. I flat twisted it at the root a little bit just to give it a little bit of a stretch. But yeah, it looks good and it feels good. I'm going to twist this side off camera and I'll be back to show you how my whole head looks with the twist. I am all done with twisting my hair and this is how it looks. This is my left side. I like my left side a little bit better than the right side, but this is how it's looking. And then my right side. Originally I had done a flat twist here but I decided to break them up. So I have a flat twist here and a flat twist here instead of one long flat twist. I didn't like the way it was looking, but here I didn't break it up, I just kept it the same. This is how it looks on this right side of mine. The back. That is all for now. I will see you when I see you for the takedown. It's Friday and I am ready to take down these twists. That's my little glow by day bonnet, my little satin scarf. And I'm going to put some of the Karen's Body Beautiful Lavender Vanilla Oil. It's called Heavenly Jojoba Hair and Body Oil. It smells so good. I'm going to put a few drops of that in my hand, rub it together and rub it over my hair to give it some shine and to also help combat frizz when I take down the twist to get my twist out. One of the things that I have to keep reminding myself of is to go slow when I'm taking down these twists because if I don't go slow, especially when I am taking down flat twists, I'm going to create some frizz. Some of my twists do have a flat twist at the base, but then I converted it into a regular two strand twist. 
yeah, I got to go slow or else I'm going to mess up some stuff. I'm going to grab my pick to go in at the root to give it a little bit of a lift. I don't want much because I am not going for a lot of volume today. This is another product from Karen's Body Beautiful. It is her argan oil gel. I just wanted to put a little bit of it around my edges just to see how hard or soft it is. All done. And here is the finished look. I like it. I like my twists. They feel so good, so soft. They are a little bit, eh, but I know over the course of the days, they will start, ah. Y'all know what I'm saying? We like those three, four, five day hair, right? This is how my hair is looking. And I didn't do too much breaking up of anything. If I had a twist that was bigger than some of the other ones, I kind of broke it up. But Miss Emeth, I didn't break my curls up too much. <laughs> you may have noticed that when I twisted my hair, I did a little bit of a flat twist on the, at, at the base. And then I just turned it into a regular twist. I like it. My hair feels good. I put the gel around my hair just to kind of see how that gel feels. That gel, the gel feels very soft. And I like gels like that. It's not too sticky or anything like that. It's just like it's just right. So here's how my hair is looking. I got great definition. My hair feels very, very very good. Very moisturized. It doesn't feel like it's going to get dry anytime soon. And I'm a happy camper. So here is the side here. Okay. I think it's cute. Next time I'll make bigger twists here because it kind of made it look skinny, skinty, as they say. But I think it looks that way because my hair I didn't have that much hair in the twist, so the twists were a little bit too small. Let me show you the back. My hair is very soft. It's not greasy and oily. I really like the Super Duper Hydrating Cream. It not only defines my curls and gives me a great twist out, but it makes my hair feel Super Duper soft, okay? And we all love for our hair to feel soft and moisturize, right? I love it. What do you think? What do you think? If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below and you know I'll be down in those comments to engage with you, you, and you. Today is Sunday, October the 23rd, and this is my hair. This is how it's looking right now. When I did my hair, that was on October 19th, which was Wednesday. So I wanted to pop in here so you can get a look at my hair since I didn't do any updates. You can see it still looks good. I kept it covered with my satin bonnet when I wasn't doing anything or going out. So it has held up very well and it's still looking good. If you like the content that I put out on this channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Just click on my face somewhere over here. <laughs> Some, over here, click on my face, okay? And go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.